Good morning, Daily Boulders. From a, another day on the slippery, icy, treacherous streets of Kiev. Listen up, I've not got much time today, so I've got to go and make a film for the main channel. Got to pay the bill somehow. Um, so I thought, what can I do for you for a quick, short video, um, something interesting. And on the other side of Kiev, there's a huge monument called the Motherland Monument. It's a woman on a hill. She's got a sword in one hand. Drasvitya, A lovely babushka. And it's got a sword in one hand, a shield in the other, and I thought we'd go and check it out. So, um, yeah, let's go and do that. Let's go and check out the Motherland Monument. Morning, Adolf. You all right, mate? Good lad, good lad. I only just realised that you can actually just pay with your card. You don't have to queue up for a bloody ticket all the time. So, um, yeah, no more ticket buying. All right, let's get on the metro and go to Arsenalmaya on the other side of the Dnipro River. Let's cross it. Is that our metro? talking on the metro with everyone looking at me. But well, a few days ago, it was completely frozen over. But now, it's warmed up in old Kiev. And look at it, you can swim in it, if you want. If you're a madman. What's your name? What's your name? Lisa. Lisa. Yeah. Hey, do you want to be Thank my you. vlog? I'm gonna introduce <laughs> you to the people. Hey guys, I met a really nice Ukrainian girl called Lisa who yes. speaks wonderful English. <laughs> Say hello, Lisa. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna go up the escalator together, which I believe is like the longest escalator in all of Kiev, uh, because it's like the deepest metro station or something. Actually, no, it's like the longest station. Okay, don't listen to my facts. I know nothing. <laughs> Lisa is the expert, but bloody hell, Lisa, look how big it is. Oh my God, wow, it is a big one. And what are you doing? Why are you travelling to Arsenal now today? Uh, I have day off today. Okay. I'm just a bit bored and I like to meet new people. Lisa's yeah. a sociable Ukrainian person. That's yeah. good. Would you like to visit the statue with me? Of course. Okay. <laughs> well, I've made a friend on the metro in um, Kiev. That's fantastic. Okay, we're going to go and check out the Motherland statue. Let's do it. Let's do it. Wow, this is huge. <laughs> wow, we've come from the depths of Kiev. And we're going out into the streets once again, into the snow. Wow, look at the yellow, lovely yellow Soviet tiles. Wow. What a Soviet station, Soviet lights, wow. And I'm presuming, Lisa, you can tell me, what was this before? Would these be like um, telephone boxes or something before? Lisa, this is too young to remember the Soviet yeah. times. We have to find her babushka and ask Lisa's babushka what that was. But I'm presuming it was like telephone boxes. All right. Something you're going to see everywhere on the streets of Kiev is the amazing Russian chocolate shop, which is owned by Mr. Poroshenko, the former president. And they called him, what was his nickname? The chocolate president or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Something like that. <laughs> something like that. Anyway, Russian chocolate, highly recommend it. This video is not sponsored by Russian, but Anyway, we're going up ahead. Oh, oh, wow, what's this building on the corner? I see something strange and Soviety. Oh, it's Hodel. Ah, okay, let's go and check it out. There's some strange space age designed yeah, hotel on the corner. Yeah? yeah. Postmodern. Oh, I've brought an architectural expert with me. Thank God we found Lisa on the metro. We've come to the funkiest hotel in Kiev. It's called the Hotel Salute, which means. Firework, thank you, Lisa. Wow, oh, look at it. It's all weird and Soviet and postmodern, apparently. Now you can see it better from this angle. Um, just it's built on like, what they call circles. Circles, 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 all the way to the top. Wow, that is a real old Soviet bit of architecture. Postmodern Sovietness. Yes? 
I don't know what, don't tell Lisa, but I don't know what postmodern means. But um, I'm going to pretend that I do, so, yeah. so I don't look silly. Check out where we've come to, like some old ancient church and on the walls. Pichenska Lavra. Pichenska Lavra, thank you Lisa. Look at this, the old... Okay, I'm going to show my lack of knowledge of postmodernism <laughs> and Christianity here in Ukraine. But look how beautiful the old, um, I don't know if that's Jesus. Some people on the banks of the Dnieper. There's the Dnieper in the hills. And that's what it looked like in the olden days. And here's some more religious people. They've come here to Kiev. Can you see that? Like, it's a bit faded, it's very old, but there you go. Should we have a look inside? Let's check it out. There it is. Is that The man who formed Kiev, who made Kiev? No, no, Christianity here. Oh, okay. The guy in the middle, Vladimir, is the guy we think, Lisa thinks, that brought Christianity to Ukraine. See him with the beard. They've all got beards, but okay, the one with the grey beard in the middle. He's also got a sword. In those days, even Christians were ready for war. It's pretty cool. Wow, that guy just stepped out of an Ilya Repin painting. Did you see him? <laughs> His hat and everything. The moment we've been waiting for which is the giant statue, the Motherland Monument, there in the distance. Can you see it? The lady. And here is officially the biggest flag in all of Ukraine, maybe, possibly. I made that fact up, but it might be true. Check it out. The soldiers, the Soviet soldiers defending the Rodina, the Motherland. There you can see them there. Look, charging into certain death, maybe. Yeah, this must be like the people who were left behind in the war, I suppose. So you've got like a babushka here and she's, um, well, she's kind of crying. Um, and the mums and the dads and their children have gone off to war. I'm interpreting this. And there's a young child there being held back by the mum. And um, yeah, the Ukrainians suffered a lot in the Second World War. Bloody hell. Operation Barbarossa came through these lands and um, the people didn't fare too well. This, so I'm going to tell you something Lisa even doesn't know. Right, Lisa, are you ready for this? Yeah, yeah, of course. The person, the architect who designed the Mart Rodina is the same person who built that famous uh, motherland statue in Volgograd. It used to be Stalingrad. You've probably seen it on the internet. But he designed that one and this one. Check it out. Did you know that, Lisa? Yeah, yeah, I remember because... <laughs> She's pretending. She didn't know that. <laughs> Why are you pretending? Let me have my moment of knowledge. <laughs> Yeah, of course, I didn't know. <laughs> that's better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, guys, I think that's the end of the video. We've made it to the Motherland statue. I wanted to show it to you, and here it is in all her glory. Look how massive. She's got a, a big sword, and she's got a shield with a hammer and sickle, one of the few hammer and sickles still left in this country. And that's it. And I don't know what else to say. Lisa, thank you so much for <laughs> thank you. giving me this little tour. Random meeting on the metro. All right, listen guys, until the next episode, we'll see you guys later. Adios.